Welcome to module two, lesson six, better data, better insights. With our conversion funnel installed and naming conventions in place, let's now talk about our tracking templates. Tracking templates allow you to streamline your link tagging process and pass static and dynamic values. Here's an example. So in your workbook, if you come here, tracking templates, uh, they, they sound much more complicated than they actually are, I promise. It's just a way to streamline your link tagging process. And again, you can pass static and dynamic values. So I actually created this little cheat sheet for you here to give you an understanding of what a tracking template is. So you can see it's it's comprised of different variables. So we've got uh, the LP URL. This is your landing page URL. So whatever the URL is in your ad, the template will automatically inherit it. And then it will automatically append these different static and dynamic values based on these parameters. So we've got standard UTMs, uh, which is your standard ones like UTM source, UTM medium, campaign, term, content. And then in addition to that, we've got static values. So Google here is a static value. You know if it's a static or a dynamic value because a static value will always just be the text and dynamic values will usually have this squiggly bracket. And that's like a good way for you to know, okay, that's a dynamic value versus a static value. And difference between static and dynamic is dynamic, it means it changes. Static means it's always the same, it will remain consistent. So we always want the UTM source here to be Google. We always want the UTM medium to be CPC. We always want the UTM campaign to be trial in this example. And in this case, we want the UTM term to automatically populate the keyword that drove the click in addition to the match type that that keyword is using. So these two dynamic variables are called value track parameters, and they will dynamically change based on the keyword and the match type associated. And then finally, this last one here of add underscore name is a custom parameter. And custom parameters are parameters that you can create that are not part of the UTM parameters, which are your standard ones. And most folks would use custom UTM parameters if they have some sort of advanced tracking setup. Uh, just know that they exist. So if this is not something relevant for you, just so you see it, you know. But anything that is available in the URL, you can then set up with JavaScript the ability to pass the data from those parameters into hidden fields in your form to then be able to... Uh, route and track and do all sorts of thing in your back end. So this is a tracking template and it's really important as this is going to allow you to get a lot better data and ultimately better insights from your activities. Now the better data we pass to our tracking template, as I mentioned, the better insights we can glean. So why deny yourself incredible insights such as which keywords drove the most revenue when you have the ability to capture that information freely available? Now you can install a tracking template at the campaign ad group or ad level. You can even do it at the account level with a tracking script. I'm going to show you what this looks like in Google ads. And I recommend that you start off with the campaign level. So navigating here into our Google ads account, we're going to go ahead and uh, click on a, an existing campaign. So I reckon that you haven't built a campaign yet, so you can follow after the fact, but essentially here in our campaign, we're going to go into the settings and we're going to scroll down to additional settings and we want to go under the campaign URL options. I usually like to set my tracking templates at the campaign level and that suffices. So the cool thing too about the tracking template is once I create the tracking template at the campaign level, I don't have to worry about tagging my ads with UTM parameters at the ad level anymore. It'll automatically inherit the campaign URL uh, tracking template and then my, uh, my links are tagged appropriately. Because if you're just putting all of the tagged URLs at the ad level, it can be really problematic sometimes and, and really time consuming to make changes and miss things. So this just really helps streamline things and push those dynamic parameters. So for example, here for tracking template, if you go back to the cheat sheet, we wanna follow this format here because this is the, the syntax of the tracking template. Uh, you can also find additional value track parameters here in this Google ads article, you can look into it. So these are all additional pieces of information that you can dynamically pass to your tracking template. Um, and you can just grab this example here. So I'm gonna copy this and then I'll use this and I'm gonna paste it in my template just like this. So if I come back here to the campaign level, I'm gonna paste this in, and you can see under UTM source, this is where you're gonna to wanna to put the source of what you wanna call this. People usually put Google or they'll put like AdWords, UTM medium, so people will usually put CPC or paid search. This 100% depends on you and your business, your company, how you guys wanna track things. Campaign, you can put a static value of the campaign. The downside of this is you have to do this for each campaign. So each campaign has to have its own unique tracking template unless you're using a, an account-wide script. Uh, so for example, I'm gonna call this campaign, um, you know, let's just say for the sake of example, at a non-brand, just keep it simple. The UTM term, I'm gonna dynamically push 
the keyword that drove the click and the match type here, so with these dynamic value track parameters. And then I have this custom parameter here of add name. And I can put, you know, maybe I say like RSA one for the custom parameter. This one is 100% optional. Most of my clients don't really need custom parameters, but I just wanted you to be aware of it. Now, one other thing too I want to talk about here on the tracking template, which is really cool, is the ability to create a custom parameter to, to populate. So for example, um, let's say for, for this custom parameter here, we want to create a custom parameter of add name. You can dynamically push values into the custom parameter of add name based on whatever you put here, uh, which is really cool. So there's a lot more to tracking templates for the sake of this course and the simplicity. You really only need to know this, to be honest, this is 90% of the work. And uh, you can dynamically pass those value track parameters and push the primary UTM values that you need. Your action item for this lesson is to build your first tracking template. We'll put this into practice in module four once we actually start to design our first campaigns that we're gonna launch. I hope you received a ton of value so far. Please share ad conversion with your friends or colleagues or leave us a testimonial. We appreciate your help spreading the word. I'll see you in the next one.